Hey everyone, Pastor Tim here from West Shore. Welcome to our daily devotion and prayer time. And this is the Saturday edition. And we are in Genesis chapter four, picking up in verse 17. This is after um, Cain has killed Abel and God has caused him to go live in another place east of Eden. And this is what the Bible says. Cain had sexual relations with his wife and, be, and she became pregnant and gave birth to Enoch. Then Cain founded a city, which he named Enoch after his son. Enoch had a son named Irad. Irad became the father of Mahujo and Mahujo became the father of Methushael. Methushael became the father of Lamech. Lamech married two women. The first was named Ada, and the second was Zila. Ada gave birth to Jabal, who was the first of those who raise livestock and live in tents. His brother's name was Jubal, the first of all who played the harp and flute. Lamech's other wife, Zila, gave birth to a son named Tubal Cain. He became an expert in forging tools of bronze and iron. Tubal Cain had a sister named Nama. One day Lamech said to his wives, Ada and Zilla, hear my voice, listen to me, you wives of Lamech. I have killed a man who attacked me, a young man who wounded me. If someone who kills Cain is punished seven times, then the one who kills me will be punished 77 times. Adam had sexual relations with his wife again and she gave birth to another son. She named him Seth, for she said, God has granted me another son in place of Abel whom Cain killed. When Seth grew up, he had a son and named him Enosh. At that time, people first began to worship the Lord by name. So the first thing we see here is we have to understand the, the consequences of sin, the consequences of our choices and our decisions. Um, Cain killed his brother and was removed from the the blessings of God, but God had mercy on him. God had favor on him. Um, and we see the great understanding of the mercy of God. And we see that as Cain's life progressed and as he had children, we see that they were allowed to um, really just start to do the things that mankind needed to do. And, and we see the evidence of God's grace and God's um, allowing redemption for someone who had sinned. So Cain committed the most heinous of crimes. He murdered his own flesh, his, his brother, and, and God in his providence allowed Cain to move forward um, we assume there was some redemption and some forgiveness that took place because he continued to prosper and, and move forward. And so that, that gives us hope that there is, there is redemption in God. And we see that in the, the person of Jesus Christ, that no matter what our past has been, no matter what, um, the things of life have thrown at us, we can find redemption and forgiveness in the blood of Jesus Christ. But let us not forget that, that God is a God of uh, just as much justice and truth as he is of grace. And so, so while we find redemption because of Jesus, that does not um, preclude us from suffering the consequences of our actions. And then finally, in this passage, we see, we go back to Adam and Eve, and God blesses Adam and Eve by replacing the son that they lost. By losing Abel, God replaced him with Seth. God had granted another son in place of Abel, who killed Cain. When Seth grew up, he had a son and named him Enosh. And at that time, we see the people that God has created begin to formally worship 
the Lord God. There's power in the creation story. There's power in the redemption story that we find in a relationship with God through Jesus Christ. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, we come to you this morning and we thank you for the redemptive power of a relationship with you. We thank you that we can see that all the way back in the book of Genesis, Father, as, as you had uh, uh, mercy and grace for those who um, neglected you, rejected you, and the same mercy and grace is available for us. Help us to remember that. Help us to remember that you are a God of mercy and love, but you're also a God of truth and justice and and those two blend together and and we must understand that father we thank you that you love us more than we can imagine but we thank you that you love us so much that you don't want us to stay just the way we are help us to strive today to be the people you've called us to be and it's in jesus name we pray amen well have a super saturday don't forget today is the day that uh we gain an hour we fall back so i know most of us all of our technology changes the time for us but don't forget to change that uh oven and microwave if you uh if they're not connected to wi-fi and uh we'll be looking forward to seeing you tomorrow in worship until next time may the lord bless you and keep you may his face shine upon you may he be gracious to you and give you peace may you fall just a little bit deeper in love with jesus today take care may god bless you